Welcome back to the channel for another player review, and we did get some Road to the Final cards upgraded early, one of them being this Fofana card. Does look very good. We are going to be using him in that center back position. Obviously, that's the one position he can play. We have slapped a Shadow Kim style on this card. I would recommend that one. That's going to bring him up to 93 pace and 97 defending, along with the other stats you see. You know, 76 dribbling, nothing crazy, but 90 physical as well. So this card is also 6'3", should be an aerial threat, able to, you know, win headers from corners, also able to kind of, you know, clear the ball with headers. So I'm expecting this card to be very good. We are going to be trying to see how, you know, fast he is in game and, you know, just that kind of acceleration. And he does have medium high work rates, which I like for a center back. We are going to be comparing him to some other really good center backs that I've tried out. Guys like this Maldini card, who's just ridiculous. This PK card, 89 rated, that I've been using a lot recently, who's just a menace in game. You know, this 89 World Cup hero, Carvalho. I've also tried out Team of the Year, Virgil van Dijk, who's just an absolute monster, one of the best center backs in the game. So, you know, lots of guys that kind of compare Fofana against, and we'll just have to see how he plays in game. So let's take him into foot champs and see how he does. Great tracking there by Fofana, and he's able to use that physicality against Royce. Hold him off the ball. Solid stuff. Fofana able to kind of step up, easily win that header. Good use of the height there. See if we can make something out of it. I think we can. Pedri's going to get us the goal. All started by Fofana kind of, you know, pushing up, winning us that header and getting that counterattack going. See if we can grab the cutback. There we go. We stopped it. Good read and good standing tackle from Fofana. He might go for that cross. Nope, he's going to try to cut it back. In the box, Fofana does well, but he kind of loses the ball. He does well again there. And yeah, pretty good shielding of the ball against Forlan. Go on, Fofana. Use that over-the-top through ball ability. Come on. Oh, Moise Keen, he just slowed down too much. I want to go for that interception with Fofana. Oh, the interceptions kind of let me down a little bit. But there he is in the box against Mbappe. Good read. Pokes the ball away. Starts the counterattack for us. See if we can put in a tackle against Cruyff. Look at that. Fofana just able to bully Cruyff off the ball. It's good. Oh, way to step up and... Intercept that pass with Fofana. Getting counterattacked from the corner. Just going to be up to Fofana here. And he is able to just kind of hold his ground and make that interception. Up to Fofana. Fofana kind of pushing forward there. Just natural attacking a little bit. There we go. I kind of want to work a pass with Fofana. Very good long pass, actually. And Fofana almost gets that assist. Back to Fofana. What a pass. Can't do anything with it, but that pass from Fofana was special. Good interception from Fofana. Kind of shows off the acceleration. And finds a pass up to Zidane. This guy's pressing hard. Fofana, look at that. Look at that from Fofana saving us the goal. We're back after testing out Fofana in several games of foot champs. And overall, I was pretty impressed with this card, but let's talk about some pros and cons on him, as well as a couple of quick comparisons to other center backs. And also if I think he's worth the price tag he's currently going for. So starting out with that pace, the pace being 85, with the Shadow Kim style also boosting it, just really made this card insane, especially that sprint speed overall. I mean, it was so good, and this card is lengthy as well, so keep that in mind. But yeah, he was able to catch up to just about every attacker, striker that I came up against. Guys like Cruyff, you know, he was catching up to them, 
And if he was, you know, trying to catch up and a little bit behind, he would be use that physical ability, you know, kind of just start pushing them using the shoulder and knocking them off the ball before they could get a shot off. So I really like that aspect to his game. The pace is definitely top notch. As far as the passing goes, it does say 68 passing, but keep in mind the short passing is 85. The long passing is 79. So, you know, for a center back, those are both decent passing stats. I did try some over the top through balls out of the back with him. And actually they worked out pretty well. Just some long driven passes as well out of the back. Those also came off nicely. So, you know, as far as the passing goes, it does look a little bit better than you would think just by seeing the 68 value there. Now the dribbling, the dribbling's not anything crazy at all. You know, with him being 6'3", his agility and balance isn't there for sure. He does have a little bit lower reactions. So, and that 70 dribbling stat. So yeah, don't try to do any kind of dribbling with this card. And he does have what, two star skills, three star weak foot. So the three star weak foot isn't anything crazy, but it is definitely something that you can work with. Now, as far as the work rates go, actually medium high work rates. I did notice him, you know, pushing up the pitch a little bit with those medium work rates, but I didn't mind it too much just because he has so much pace. He's able to track back very quickly. So yeah, that's not really a problem. And then as far as the overall defending and physical go, the one area that I really would have liked to see, you know, a better performance is the interceptions. It seemed like at 97, it was going to be crazy, but I feel like the reactions or maybe it's another stat or just something else in general made it so that his interceptions weren't exactly that crazy. I mean, he was, he felt like he was a kind of a hair off with you know his reaction time compared to other center backs and i feel like that kind of made it so that the interceptions weren't quite as good as you would think being 97 but just kind of keep that in mind as far as all the other defending and physical stats go they were top notch i mean that 87 jumping as well and the 6-3 height made him an aerial threat for sure there were lots of times where the opponent was going for those goal kicks and he was able to just win me the ball back you know because he was able to win the header against the striker and that was very nice to see and other areas you know defensive awareness was really good those standing tackles were also exceptional i tried some sliding tackles and those kind of hard slide tackles those came off very well and another thing about this guy's game is with him having so much kind of you know defensive and physical ability he was able to not even have to put in a tackle just kind of like you know shield the ball and he was just able to step in in front of the attacker and win the ball back and that was really useful in and around the box because you know i didn't really have to worry about giving away a penalty too much putting in those tackles i could just kind of use that big physical presence step in front of the attacker and win the ball back so very very good in that regard and also kind of his side to side movement as well when you're trying to cut passing lanes that was also very good again because of that high pace and the six three height you know kind of giving him that reach as well so all of those things make this card very good, but let's compare him to some other center backs as well. I've been using PK a lot and you know, he's not in the Premier League. So, you know, I won't really do a big comparison between those two, but guys like, you know, Maldini, that's very popular. Um, I thought that Fofana, I guess, compared to Maldini specifically was maybe not quite as good, actually, I would say. And the main reason for that, well, Maldini has even more pace, you know, 87 pace and the, phys the defending ability is definitely there but i feel like you know just something about this maldini card made him a little bit better than fofana so i would you know if you have maldini don't worry about trying to get this fofana card and as compared to carvalho i actually think that um carvalho is you know low high work rates he's six foot very good defending ability but the physical ability isn't nearly as good as fofana i feel like fofana because he has that big physical presence made him overall a better center back for me. So I would say that I prefer Fofana to Ricardo Cavallo. Now, you know, there's other guys like John Stones. If you've done the John Stones showdown SBC, I would, you know, this card's very similar. I would just continue on with Stones. And, you know, there's just so many options in the Premier League at center back. And that just makes it very hard for me to kind of just say, you know, to go all out on this card, especially because it's a dynamic card. And if Chelsea doesn't end up winning their next game, then, you know, this card's going to kind of fall off as far as price. I could see it in the low 200s and it's I bought it for 372,000 and I could see it dropping 
into the low 200,000s if Chelsea doesn't get another game and this car doesn't get another upgrade. So just kind of keep that in mind, the risk reward, but obviously he could keep getting upgrades and, you know, five star weak foot, new traits, all that kind of stuff that would make this car just incredible. So with all of that being said, it's hard for me to say to go out and pick up this card for 370 K just knowing the kind of risk reward and the other options out there in the premier league at center back. But if you do happen to pack this card or, you know, you're a Chelsea fan and you want to pick this card up, I do say that he is going to be very good. He's going to perform very well in game. And I definitely think that you'll be happy starting him in your team. So that's going to do it for this review. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. If you're new, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.